Hello everyone, hope you find yourself having a great day. I want to give a quick example, a down and dirty example of how to color grade your footage that comes off your Seagull 2 camera. And uh, the Seagull 3 camera is not as bad because there are additional internal settings that allow you to adjust the gain, white balance, etc. But the Seagull 2 is notorious for its uh, golden overtoning of the footage that it captures. So hopefully with this short example I can help some people out there and maybe uh, offer you a way to provide uh, better corrections to your footage and get the most out of it. So I've got a few samples here that I'm going to work with. I've got one that's uh, especially uh, notorious in my opinion where the yellow that you see in the footage before us is just uh, oversaturated. It's too bright. It's too bright for my opinion. Now this was shot during the golden hour about an hour before sunset so you can expect these kind of colors but I like for them to be a little more subdued. I like for my blacks to be a little darker and uh, I just like to have a little more boldness a little richer color. So we'll shut this guy down and I'm going to drag this foot footage into After Effects. Uh, if you're not familiar with After Effects, uh, it's something that you can uh, buy a subscription to and uh, based on an annual basis. So with this, you can import footage into your project. And I'm just going to drag that piece of footage into my project. And it's imported now. And what we're going to do to get started is to drag that footage into a new composition. And you'll see now that it's in our timeline. I've got my timeline resolution set to full. Uh, you can see that it isn't exactly uh, beautified when you're scrubbing through your footage. However, it does end up rendering perfect. That uh, beautification, the quality is at a quarter of its resolution, which makes for an easier scrubbing through of your footage. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to leave this piece as original, and then I'm going to drag in another copy of that on top. Of that so in effect we're going to have one piece of this clip covering the piece of clip below that and now I'm going to mask it off so that we can see our difference I'm gonna get our rectangular mask and just drag a rectangle around this and split my screen so in effect I've got a mask masking out half of this footage and then the remainder is what is the footage that's beneath it so we can begin by taking our footage that we're going to apply our color grading to. Now, if you go up top under Effect, Color Correction, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the levels on this footage. All right. And this is very similar to Photoshop, how you might adjust the levels on a photo. Now, levels are going to allow me to crush the blacks, brighten up or darken the blacks and and convert more of a gray to more of a bold black and you're going to see that evident on the screen as I begin to crush those blacks. See I can take it way off or just a little bit. Here's unaffected and I'm going to crush those blacks just a little bit and you'll see especially in the shadow areas in the mid-tones as I slide this back and forth I'm crushing those blacks. I'm bringing out a little bit of richness in there. And it's virtually not affecting the color. Not too much. It affects some of the darker tones of color. I'm going to leave it about right there. Okay. Now something else I'm going to do to this clip is I'm going to go under Effect. Color Correction. And I'm going to adjust the Hue and Saturation. Okay. You can, in general, with the Master Saturation, right now it's at zero, we can bump that up and down or desaturate it completely to where it's black and white or we can just go overkill and just totally ruin it for right now I'm gonna put it right back at zero okay and what I want to do is I want to go in to the yellow channel and I want to pull that saturation down for the yellow so watch here I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the extreme I'm gonna bring it way down and you see how that it's it's changed that it's almost made a, a monochrome effect but back starting back at zero we're going to bring this down a little bit to where we feel that we're getting that to become a more natural color okay now in yellow red is part of yellow so we might want to also go under our red and play with that for a little bit we can bring that up or down right 
and I'm going to bring it down just a touch to make it a little bit more natural. And I can zoom in on that footage, and by holding my pad or my uh, space bar, I can uh, pan around and get a little better look at that. Okay, I'll tell it to fit 100% or fit to the screen my work my viewport. And as we scrub through that, you'll see that we've got our footage that we've altered, that we've manipulated, that we've in a sense crushed the blanks, bringing out a, a richer, deeper, uh, more contrasty image. And we subdued those yellows substantially. If you look on the horizon here compared to this other segment that we've not treated, once this footage pans, you'll see that here you can see that it's a much golder, more exaggerated gold, more exaggerated yellow. And here it's less. And as I scrub through there, you can see that divide where our, our effect is, is more noticeable, where we've got our darks, more shadows, more uh, dark areas, more contrasting areas. So that's just one easy way to do that um, without a little bit of, uh, without a lot of trouble. And what you can do is you can write down these numbers that you've got, like the saturation for red is minus 18. We can go into our yellows and we could write down that our saturation, desaturation for yellows is minus 30. And we could go into our levels. All right. And we could take a note. When I move this slider, you'll see that these input black uh, numbers change. And you can find one that works for you. You can, you can go overboard with it, but you can come in just a little bit on that. Maybe play with the mid-tones a little bit, and then the highlights a touch, and get that to where it's uh, suitable for you. And with just a little bit of work, and if you wrote your numbers down, you can come this, come back in to all the clips uh, that you're going to be working with, and um, produce a very repeatable result where all your footage has a, a, a very similar repeatable look and that uh, you can greatly improve the quality of your footage. So I hope this helps somebody. And remember, if you like this, give a comment, rate, and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.